Hey guys, this is Getsumara, and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. In the last episode, we're still in Andantino Secret Passage, but well, we're towards the end of it. And I cleared those last three things off, because well, I would have ended up fighting all three of them anyways, and well, it got Viola like a little bit before level, so it's all good. So let's keep going. And going and going and going. Because right here's the exit, and I'm going to save it actually. Because we got a big ass cutscene coming up. Actually, I don't think this one's that bad. There's worse coming up. That's right, I'm giving you a forewarning. But you better watch them because it's plot development. Important one, too. So you'd be kind of like, what the hell just happened if you skipped over an episode? So, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, look at that. 9 hours 22 and 8.43. Yeah, see this? When you don't get all the chests, this is how much time you save. Only took me like. 20 minutes to do this place without any chests. I even got lost one, so let's get the hell out of here. It's Big Daddy Jazz, Claves, and Falsetto. Alright then. There should be a switch behind this rock. Falsetto, if you wouldn't mind. Right. Oh, so that's why there was a crack in it. It was a passage. The hell? Phew, finally! I've been dying for some fresh air. But I can't believe that huge rock moved out of the way just by giving it a little push. Man, those are some steroids you're taking. I'm even stronger than I thought I was. Uh, who are you people? And how did you know about this secret passageway? We've just escaped from being held in the dungeon of Forte Castle. That's right! We didn't even do anything wrong and they threw us in a cell like criminals! No kidding. Anyone would have run away. Oh, my hair is a total mess. Typical girl answer. Oh, those guys are terrible! They just arrested us and threw us in the dungeon! And we didn't even do anything wrong to deserve it! Well, I guess there are a few things we might have done, like that one time, and that other time... <laughs> <laughs> it's true, we were arrested at the entrance to the castle for no reason. It's like, shut up, Beat. I swear, we haven't done anything. It would seem they're not our enemies. I suppose you're right. Let's hurry up and get back to the mission. Wait a minute, Falsetto. These people might just be able to help us. We are members of Andantino, and we're trying to find the guardian of a go, go forest. The guardian of a go, go forest? Yes, I think we can help you. Indeed we can. For me? Well, you found me. And that's pretty surprising, considering how I ended up here. Flashback. Listen to me. She what even took off her hat. What the, the hell? Forest? Young lady, I'm tired of repeating myself. But if you don't stop the mining at Mount Rock, the forest is going to die. The mountain and the forest are dependent on each other. I've told you, we cannot make mineral powder without the mines at Mount Rock. That powder is responsible for saving the lives of many of our people. Sir, a gogo forest is our home. But if you keep digging... Hold on, a gogo forest? You're telling me you live in a gogo forest? Why does that matter? I have been a guardian of a go, go forest since the day that I was born. Oh, well that matters. This is the first time I've come to a city like this. Guards, please come and show our guest to a room. That doesn't what? sound like it's as friendly as it's supposed to sound. So this girl is the guardian of a go, go forest? It seems our mission is complete. Hey, 
You guys sound like you know something about what's going on around here. Why don't you come back to my village with the rest of us? Besides, once they realize we've escaped, they might come after us. She brings up a good point. We shouldn't stay here much longer. We must leave. What are you people going to do? What should we do, Jazz? Good question. I'm not really sure. Though I must admit, it's thanks to them that our mission was a resounding success. How nice, you didn't have to do anything. That's right. And much earlier than we planned, too. It looks like we've got some extra time now. Let's listen to what they have to say. Maybe they can tell us about the inside of Forte Castle. It's boring when things always go according to plan. It's nice to have things shaken up every once in a while. It's okay with you, isn't it, Claves? Yes, of course. Why the delayed response? Then it's settled. Allegretto, is something the matter? Sorry, just trying to kill Beat. No, it's nothing really. I was just thinking I need to pay more attention to Beat, that's all. Well, Beat did do his best. Yeah, he didn't do too badly. For a clam, anyway. Ha! <laughs> and now I hear sirens. They sound like they're right outside my house. Uh, I really hope something didn't happen. Oh, sounds like a fire truck, actually, or an ambulance. Probably nothing that bad, so it should be good, and... Let's go back to Viola's home. I think it's this way. I hope. Yeah, it is, it is. Wait, oh, we also... Oh, okay, I know what's happening. Upcoming right away. Let me make sure we fully heal. Oh, we are fully healed. Or healed, there. Good. Actually, I'm gonna fight that mob. Viola's... Actually, nah. We're five experience from a level up. Let's just keep going. Why not? We'll run into something eventually. Probably. Hopefully. I don't know. Hey, it's a person. Hello. Well, isn't it the group I met on the hill? How fortuitous. You see, I got holes in my shoes and my feet are killing me. Do you think you might be able to loan me a pair? Ah, oh, crap. I did miss part of this freaking side quest. Ugh. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Ah, crap. Oh well. Pretty sure I can backtrack. Hopefully I can get it later. I'm sure they wouldn't leave me like shit out of luck. I hope. Really, Tuba? Were you expecting Andantino to just show up at the front gate bearing gifts for us? You imbecile. My apologies, Count Waltz. Listen carefully, Tuba. I don't think I need to tell you that this is your last chance. Find them and eliminate them all. Immediately. Yes. Whoa, whoa, that's pretty cruel. What did we ever do? No, wait. The guardian of a go, -Go forest. Bring her back alive. That is the will of the people, after all. You asshole. Freaking like Count Bieber. By the way, Frederick, what are you making this trip for? I don't think you ever told us. It's because I'm lonely. October 17th, 12:16 a.m. Damn, that's late. Why would the doctor be on the house call at midnight? That's like they're supposed to do the chick at that time. Is taking a journey on which he will have to face himself. God damn it, you're a doctor. Listen to science, not like maybes. With his acceptance of death, we cannot be certain. Frederick, please come back to us. See, this is why people died back then, because the doctors were retarded. This. If I told you that your world exists in a dream I'm having, would it startle you? At 
At this moment, I'm asleep in Paris. As a pianist, and as a composer as well, I have produced many popular works that have brought me a rather good deal of renown there. Jazz is like I'm Did sure. You say Paris? That's not a place I've ever heard of. If this is all some kind of joke, you've got a really weird sense of humor, mister. Oh no, I assure you I'm not joking. Well, you're sure saying some pretty funny stuff. If you want us to believe you, you better show us some proof. How the hell is he gonna do that? I'm afraid you find me at a loss there. But perhaps that proof is the very thing I'm searching for on this journey. And to be perfectly honest, my own certainty that this world is only a dream has begun to waver. Oh, really? Are you sure you just haven't had too much mineral powder? Somebody's hopping a go go I shrooms. I've never heard of a side effect that makes people confuse dreams with reality. <laughs> no, I haven't taken any mineral powder. But as for confusing dreams with reality, well, there is something to that. This world does seem incredibly close to reality. And that being the case, can it possibly be that I have somehow lost my ability to distinguish between what is real? Run into a door and find out. Hold on a minute there. I don't think figuring out whether something is real or not should be quite as complicated as you're making it. Yes, reality is something that just is. It's like the way we're not consciously aware of air when we're breathing it. True. I suppose it is nearly impossible to confirm the existence of things which seem so natural to us. However, unconfirmed and non-existent are two entirely different concepts. Jeez, this is making my head hurt. Can you start over again, Frederick? Why are you going with us on this trip in the first place? A good question. I believe that I am somehow being tested. That I am on this journey to come to some realization. And in order to do so, I think I'm supposed to live my life to the fullest, even if it is in this muddled world of dream and reality. Hey, don't diss their world. So then you're not really traveling for any particular reason at all? Man, you sure are a strange one, mister. Allegretto. Oh, snap. What? What She's mad. PMS time. No matter what you think, you shouldn't talk to people like that. You're being rude to Frederick. I'm being rude? Wait, you don't actually believe this guy. His name is Frederick. Fine, fine. So then are you saying that you actually believe Frederick's crazy story? Why shouldn't I? I happen to think it's a wonderful way to think about things. So with sunshine and lollipops. Oh, hold on! Do you really mean that, Polka? Well, I don't actually believe that we're living in a dream world, but I think the thought is nice. So you really are right. a ditzy blonde. You don't believe him either. Oh, I should have known you wouldn't understand. This is like the dumbest hey, argument Polka ever. <laughs> You've still got a lot to learn about women, don't you? Oh, be quiet. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that was good. And it fit up pretty nicely because, well, we still got a good minute to go, but... Well, I'm going to end the episode off right here because if I go any further, something's going to happen. So, yeah. Next time on Let's Play Eternal Sonata, well... We get to go forward and back to Viola's house and see what goes down, because, well, we met up with Andantino and shit just hit the fan. Not really, so yeah. Bye.